Welcome to this short video on labeling a chart and properly indexing a feature collection using charts in Google Earth Engine. This is a user's requested video. I have been receiving emails and comments about labeling charts in Google Earth Engine, and particularly it deals with X labels. This labeling is useful when you want to download the band's values of points as a CSV. I always highly suggest that whenever you're using any function in Google Earth Engine make sure to read its documentation. So, without further ado let's begin the tutorial. I have a points feature collection in which each point holds two attributes, city name and temperature. They are seven locations. Now I want to generate a chart that shows me the temperature of different cities, but on the x-axis I want city name instead of its feature index value. For that I will use feature by feature chart. If you look close inside the documentation of this chart type. By default the x-axis is taken as system index which is the count of features starting from zero. But we can specify it as the value of the points name column. The function requires it as string. The y properties is a list. In my case I will select a temperature, but if you have more than one column you can separate items inside the list by commas. Finally I will print the chart and run the code. A chart is generated that now shows the point name on x-axis. If I remove the X property name, the default system index is taken again. So that's how you do indexing of charts in Google Earth Engine. Code link given in description. Make sure to check other types of feature charts to inside Google Earth Engine that requires arrays or list values and through grouping feature collection of same index. I will also teach how to read classified images using charts. Watch my tutorials playlist on charts in Google Earth Engine. If you learned something please like this video. Ask me through emailing or by writing in comments. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.